Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to a new game in my janky setup. Uh, we're going to be playing Tales and Tactics, which is a fun game that I've been exploring recently. So let's do a new run. These are all the little mechanics and stuff that you unlock, and we'll look at that at the end for now. Let's select the character to play. So I've unlocked these ones for now with my little bits that I've been doing. Um, they all have individual little traits that you can hit. I quite like this guy, though, who's the starting guy. Uh, Singrim. Uh, Bowl Pebble. So he gets... Unfortunately, the mouse is a bit off. It's, it's an early game, I think. Um, if your team has only one unit of Magician Archetype, it gains plus three mana regen. This one is, upon entering a combat room, gain a decaying potion of telekinesis. This one is start the run with an uncommon and common unit, and then you also start with a legendary once you unlock. Pulls distance enemies in and damages it and slows it. So let's begin our tale. I'm 50-50 on how much I hate this microphone, and I'm so sorry if you also hate it as well, but please bear with me. We should hopefully be moving soon, and then we can be on the straight and narrow with our new um, ability to sound better. <laughs> so, you get to unlock these little creatures at the bottom, um, and you buy them by spending these star points, which you earn from combat. We currently only have an army size of one, but that will slowly grow, and you start to unlock uh, abilities, which we'll talk about in a bit. For now, let's begin the combat. This is... Blobbert, our legend that we start with, is very cool. I like Blobbert. That was an easy fight. That was an easy fight. Well done. And that is as good for there. So we got two more star points. We've got a free reroll here, so we will reroll, and it shows us more. Cool. So for now, oh, I didn't mean to buy him. Let's just sell him. Uh, for now, let's put in our Brutal, which now unlocks us Tank and Reptile. So once we have two tank, tanks will take 10% less. So this bear here is also a tank, so we can chuck him in. Also take 10% less once we have a bigger army size. So let's go into this fight. Lovely. It's weird not having a webcam. I do what I want. It's crazy. I miss my computer, though. Um, recording on this laptop is not a thrill. But we will move. We will live and we will grow. Okay. So, we won that battle. Let's re-roll again. We're looking for traits that benefit us. So, for now, we can put this bear in. And now, we've unlocked two tanks. So, again, tanks take ten less damage from all sources. While tanks are alive, all allies gain two mana regen, which is pretty good. If we can get four tanks in here, tanks will take 20% less. And when a tank dies, other allies gain a huge bonus. So we want to get four tanks realistically. Um, right. So let's close this and let's go into our next fight. And this is kind of the starting area. Very easy. You'd struggle to lose here. Um, what we can do, actually, is we've got five star points. Because I've unlocked this from previous plays, we can actually invest in the vault, which will give us a common and uncommon duplicator, which I'll show you how they work. So we can speed these battles up as well, so they're a little bit quicker, because these first ones are very easy. Um, but it's very much like a teamfight well, tactic sort of game. Where you're you're playing all your little pieces and hoping they kill and whatnot. Okay, so we've gone into the golden desert. So they now have four people on the board. We can have four people, but unfortunately we can't afford a fourth person. So what we'll do is we'll take this common duplicator and we're gonna drop it on our turtle. And now he's tier two. So he's better. Um it doesn't necessarily mean we'll win this because we uh, don't have all of our characters, but we can still fight our way through. And with the tanks anyway, they're quite... Oh my god, actually, one of them. The bear's dying. The bear's dying. The bear's dying. The bear's dead. Oh no. 
This has gone horribly wrong. Uh, no, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Just we do need a a bit of a higher damage character though. We could do with something that actually puts out damage. We could also do with it either being royal, beast, reptile, or tank. That's a hard sell. Let's have a look, see here. This guy's beast. What would we get for tier two beast? The start of combat when an enemy dies, your beast frenzies. Your beast's frenzy, gaining 30 attack speed. That's not bad. We could take him. Goes invisible for a short duration. Maybe we take Gibbs? We'll take Gibbs on, sure. He'll be, uh, he'll tank, buff our beasts. And that's another buff that we can accept. Okay, so we're going to travel now. So we either go to a dice box or a con. I don't like the contracts right now, so I'm going to go to the dice box. And let's have a look at what's here. Let's take a chance, because we should level up either way. Yeah, we did. Lovely. And halfway through the next level as well. So what can we pick for our level up? So, gain block. A placeable totem. Mm. At the end of each combat, if, you're, if your entire team shares a single trait, gain two start points. Oh, no, we're never doing that. Um, gain the special equipment, Quelcher's Quill. Uh, at the start of combat, the wearer of fires a beam forwards mana locks and yeah we'll take this sure fires a fires a cool beam why not uh plus 20 percent health as well so maybe we put it on the bear this if you drop it on an allied unit gain a unit that you don't have that matches one of its traits Ooh, okay maybe we drop it on coda because i would like something within his realm what did we get we got another royal so when we unlock our army size to be slightly bigger, we would get gain the royal crown, special equipment that tears up a royal unit and grants gold if it survives. That's not a bad. Um, I live with that. I can live with that quite happily. Um, let's have a look here. Nothing that we really want. Let's not waste all of our money right now. So let's go to the unlucky lads. Okay. Right, this could be a little bit hard. Let's go. Are you sure? Yeah, we don't want to use this right now. It's completely free to use, but he will pull in uh, this dragon from over here for us. Watch in a second, you see. Straight away pulled in and stunned, so it doesn't really benefit us that much. Um, they do also get perks, so two dragons does that big dragon fire thing, which is quite deadly, but... We only lost Delhi, which is not bad. We we lived quite nicely there. I knew you had it in you. I knew you had it in you. Lovely. Uh, so let's do our free reroll. And ooh, another tank. We're definitely going to buy one of the Gibbs because he will eventually level up. We could invest to make sure he levels up. Um, and then we could consider buying Bulwark. For now, I think we're going to leave him. Because we might also try for the Royal trait. Yeah? Because it looks pretty good, to be fair. You have to have four Royals, but it tears down people. Which is pretty solid as an investment. What do we get? We've got a Mana Regen Crystal. Let's give that to... Uh, let's keep it, actually. Let's keep it for now. Um, so, we get to travel again. Either stop at the bar, or an encounter a rug salesman. So this is either a consumable, a unit, or equipment, or consumable... Uh, wait. Consumable, yeah. Uh, unique, consumable, or equipment. Let's go for the, the unit, possibly. No, but that'll give us a level up. We'll take the drink in the chat. Perfect. Level three. We're going to get another little perk as well, which will be nice. Right. So gain a Corvid and the Stalker War Banner. So that would give us level two on Stalker. It's nice. Gain a sword component. Your units with equipped swords uh, are immune to crowd control. Okay. Or in a room, gain a hex modifier. 
I like the sword master. I do like the mastery. So let's give the sword to you. And then let's equip you with this, which will make the sword better. Which feels like the best way to go. Yeah, let's leave it at that for now. So. Well, at, at the start of combat, one of your units is swapped or overtime comes 30% faster. I think we'll, we'll do that. Ooh, so we're getting a devil's deal here. So you may accept a bonus reward, but your units start combat mana lock for six seconds. If you lose, take double damage. So if, normally if we lose, we'd take two hearts of damage. But if we lose now, we'd take four and we'd be dead. I think we could do this, and we're going to go for 10 stars. It's a little risky. We're mana locked at the start, but overall, I think we'll be fine. Let's do ourselves a favor and give you better armor, because you're level 2, and you might actually survive. Let's drag one of you in, you taking the time to think this one through. and then he should drag in this one. Yes, lovely. Okay, and hopefully we can kill things quick enough that we can start to more than just 1v1. It's looking good. Overtime's already happened. We are just about winning. Just. Literally just. Barely. We're not winning. Oh, please win. Please win. My god, the health left was nuts. Okay. Right. Um, let's take our free re-roll. Do we leave Bulwark? Oh, we got the duplicator, so we could do this, which will upgrade Gibbs to tier 2. Uh, we don't have any uncommons yet. Um, let's invest first. And then do our free reroll. There's another blobber. But it might be good to start upgrading him, or we risk it because we've got two tanks now, and we put we put the royal guy in, and then we give the crown who rhyme. Is he uncommon? No, he's not. Okay. And then we could sell blobber to. Well, let's not be too hasty and sell him straight away. Let's go for the, the font here and see what we could be doing. Um, let's take the potion sampler, sure. We'll take the bonus potions. And then we go to the registrar, who will now register us for the tournament and give us uncommon units which now give us slightly better for example another royal unit uh, a scrapper and a tree folk so we could get him um which we will do we'll buy him we will put blob up for sale we're just going to do it we're going to risk it and we will enter the tournament after we've had a little look at what we could spend our money on. So, banners give you the option to have a free trait, basically. So let's try and see if we could get a good banner for us. The tank banner wouldn't be bad for us. Because that would mean we have one more tank, and then we only need one tank to actually make our full bonus. Let's buy that, I think. So then with the banners, you take it and you place it on a unit that isn't already a tank. So we'll place it onto uh, Gibbs. Which now means we have three out of the four tanked units needed. We then have no other money, so we will leave. And what we'll do is we'll come back next time to finish this run. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.